Hi guys and ladies, here it is, February 18th, and it's like spring outside. <laughs> Yesterday, I tried catching you some fish for a fish recipe, but I don't know, maybe the water was still too cold and muddy. I'm not sure why I didn't do so well. Well, here are a couple of scenes from my attempt. I'm going to make my first pass right here off the dock. I've been out here over an hour. I haven't caught anything. The water is just too muddy, I think. I think I'll go to that little pond where the water is so clear they can't miss the bait there. And it's so little, I have a captive audience, you know? They're biting here. I couldn't catch a decent fish for a recipe. Anyway, I've been wanting to make something with beef. So why not redo a low carb patty melt wrap from two years ago? The wraps were great, but the video itself was low resolution and very few people even saw it. So let's do it again. I want patty melts. Oh, low carb, of course. I've got a whole stick of butter here. I'll drop it into this big skillet over medium heat. Then looky here. I've sliced a whole big sweet onion. Let's get these babies caramelized. Whoa, whoa. My onions are all shiny and translucent. And look, they're starting to brown. So I'm going to move them off to the side. I've got this now on low heat. That's the best. And now watch, here's like eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. Let's cook those in there. While our onions and mushrooms are sauteing away, let's make a quick sauce in this bowl. Here I've got reduced sugar ketchup. And we need, oh dear, we need four tablespoons. That's two. Oh dear. Now I'm trying to add three tablespoons of this ballpark mustard. It's brown mustard, any brown mustard. This is a specialty of our region here, ballpark. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. Let's go with about, oh I don't know, tablespoon and a half of this Worcestershire sauce. Hey, I think I said it right, Worcestershire. So I've got Lowry seasoned salt here. Let's put a half teaspoon in. And another half teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Oh, this smells so good. Take a look at these. Look at how nice and caramelized they are. And the mushrooms are dark and cooked. I'm going to get them out of here. Get everything out. Ah. Oh, so good. I don't know. I'm just going to try to wipe the skillet a little bit, you know, get some of this butter off. I've got one and a half pounds of ground chuck here. I'm going to brown this up. I added about a half teaspoon more of this Lowry season salt. Hang on. Remember our mixture of condiments? Let's pour it in there. I'm going to mix it in. I'm just going to bowl this uh, meat mixture up now. Oh, it smells really divine. Mmm. 
last time I did these, I had these really large flatbreads. This time I only have low carb tortillas. I don't know if they're big enough for a wrap, but we'll see. So here's what I've been doing. I'm putting a slice, let's do it this way. One slice of Swiss cheese and a couple tablespoons of our meat mixture in here. You can't put too much on these little guys. So get big tortillas. Then a tablespoon of our mushroom mixture or two. Then we wrap it like burrito style. And there, there you have it. There. Ha <laughs> ha. One half stick of butter on medium low. And here we have our little patty melt bur burritos. So our butter is all melted. Let's get these little uh, patty melts in there. You know, patty melts are fried in butter. You know, the bread. So we're going to toast these in the butter. See? if we could replicate a patty melt. Because of their small size, I'm having trouble keeping them closed. <sighs> Let's try flipping these. Nah. Open-faced patty melt. I'm trying to paste them shut by adding a little, a little shredded cheese, you know, on the flap so it'll stick. Well, these smell great, but they're falling apart. Let's get them out. They're all toasty now. They're not that pretty. <laughs> Let's hope they taste great. I'm going to keep these warm in the oven while our patty melt wraps are keeping warm in the oven. Well, I might as well let you all know. The famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is coming here for dinner tonight. You know, though, we, we've been seeing each other for over 50 years now, and she doesn't seem eager to marry. She seems to have, like, a negative outlook on marriage. I would sure like to show her the benefits of matrimony. I'm not sure how, though. <laughs> well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so very much for uh, visiting me at my uh, dumpy double wide. And uh, you had a chance to dine on my, well, I must say, mini yes. uh, patty melts. And what did you think of them? Oh. They were very good. I loved them. Really? They were very tasty. Like I said, it was more like a Philly cheese. Yeah. 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 And yeah. you tasted the Worcestershire. Oh, yes, definitely. Can you yes. say that word? Worcestershire. Oh. <clears throat> I say it. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you're right. <laughs> you're I in... think you, it's, you can do it either way. <laughs> oh, they, well, I'm sorry they fell apart a little, but they were good. Yes, they were. I enjoyed it. Thank very you. Much. Thank you. Yeah, you remember when our friends Mikey and Yolanda were first married. <laughs> he bought her a big five carat diamond. Remember that ring? Wasn't that magnificent? Yes, but unfortunately it came with a curse. A curse? Uh, what's that? Um, it came with a husband. Oh, uh, can I have a hug? Mm -hmm.